we looked each other in the eyes and we respect each other there. And uh, I can't wait also for next year, you know, to come back and for sure we're going to try to fight again. A lesson in never giving up, that's for sure. Max, all racing drivers dream of this moment uh, to stand on the pinnacle. You and your family have worked very, very hard to achieve this. Uh, have you always had the belief that this was achievable? Well, I mean, to be honest, when I was in go-karting, I never really thought about it too much. I was just enjoying my time, and I, I just wanted to win every single race I was competing. And of course, in the back, in the back of your mind, your goal is to get to Form 1 and try to win, try to win there as well. But that, still you know so far away that you know you just try to do it one step at a time i think the steps went quite quick but um yeah i think for me the the, the biggest influence in my career of course especially in the beginning has been my dad you know with with his experience already being a formula one driver he prepared me very well for everything you know so everything what came at me was not a shock or a surprise and it felt pretty normal which of course you know there isn't normal but it helped me a lot and, um, you know, these kind of, of things you will never forget. And, of course, it's been an incredible journey to get to this point, but this is now potentially really the start of things. Where do you see your future with Red Bull Racing Honda? Well, like I said on the in-lab, hopefully 10, 15 more years. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can stay with them for 10, 15 more years. Oh, there's a nod going on years. over yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, I think we all agree to that. So, uh, yeah, I hope, of course, that um, we can do this for many more years, all together with Red Bull Racing. Brilliant, thank you. Well, please, ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for our 2021 Formula One World Champion, Max Verstappen. And also, our president for one last time, Jean-Claude.